Hello and welcome to this demonstration. In this quick demonstration, we will look at how Fortisor customers can leverage the War Room feature, the War Room solution provided in uh, Fortisor for P1 and critical investigations, right? Today, we will look at a use case from the finance domain, particularly a use case where a threat actor uh, forges the swift banking transactions on behalf of an organization and funnels fund from one account to other, right? So let's start. Uh, from the dashboard itself. The T1 analyst uh, jumps into the dashboard, looks at what, what his or her alerts are for the day, and just pick, can pick up one. So you see some uh, financial uh, alerts that are coming in from um, you know the SIM or the UEBA, or the Fortisor is connected to. So he, he or she can click here and go directly to the alert, or could jump to the alert section where you will see a lot of these different uh, alerts coming in from a lot of different sources. So let's quickly pick up uh, one of the, uh, the alerts that we're talking about. Right, so this is the alert that came in. It tells us uh, it's a you know fin message transaction ID created at an, at an abnormal time. Right, so there is this this UABA in the background uh, that that is present, which Fortisor is connected to and is tracking anomalous user behaviors. Right, so a lot of alerts coming in from there. So one of these it's telling that the transaction has happened at an abnormal time. Right, so. I'm looking at this alert as an analyst. I get all of these different information, right? The transaction reference, the activity role, the IC code, very particular to the nature of the alert, which is of the of the financial, uh, you know, activity that is happening, the threat that is happening, right? So, and also you see the type, which is automatically set to a swift fraud suspicion, right? At this stage, it's a suspicion. But when the analyst looks at the recommendation engine, the machine learning power recommendation engine, it, there there is a lot of, uh, you know, interest that uh, generate is, is generated because so many different types of alerts are automatically related to this alert by the intelligence of the system. So, for example, a fin message uh, authorized by creator. So in this case, the creator and authorizer are same, which is ob obviously a suspicion, right? Uh, also, some uh, messages from the from uh, regarding unusual terminals about, uh, you know, unusual country and even some brute force alerts that I see here. So a very good fodder to quickly escalate the alert, right? So you can uh, come here and say escalate. And that's, I have an es escalated alert right present here, which is an incident, by the way, right? So alert becomes an incident and you are uh, presented with a visual correlation view, uh, you know, to come and uh, investigate this in a more visual uh, canvas, right? So that's there. But uh, since this seems to be an important uh, alert, right, uh, escalated to an incident where multiple SWIFT transactions have been seen, and there seems to be a forgery, some some uh, chances of uh, uh, funds being transferred. It's a very good uh, time and uh, a use case to to demonstrate the you know the war room facility. The war room is basically a security huddle that you can have uh, with a lot of different team members across your organizations, right? So let's spin up a war room and see what that what that looks like. I want to investigate this in a war room, so I say I want to set up a war room with some details. And hey, there is there is this war room that is uh, you know uh, created for us. So let's quickly take uh, you know a few couple of minutes to just go through the war room and talk about it, right? How does this help? So the war room is about the swift swift transaction fraud confirmed, right? So uh, looking at the dashboard, it it tells me uh, or the team that is involved about you know how many assets have been impacted, how long the investigation is taking place, the artifacts, the threat types, right? So all the summary, the what's the current status, has the MQ admin terminal be, terminal has been uh, has isolated. Are uh, what are the different pin transactions? Was well, you know the message queue in this case has it been cleared? So all of these all of these activities, right, which you generally think to be uh, doing when you are you know in a huddle with a lot of different team members. Now talking about the response team itself, you can very easily see it, it's split up between uh, the SOC team, which is of course the team handling the investigations, but even you know threat hunters. The IT team lead, for example, if you want to do some isolations right away, right? This is a critical scenario. Uh, even we have people from the finance, right, coming in. For example, the credit controller. It could be also our finance, uh, you know, manager. Uh, if if you if you talk about that, right? You can quickly add team members here, right? I can add an, a team or a user here. Now across across the organizations, because Fortisor has concurrent licensing baked in, you don't have to worry about, you know adding more organizational users, right? Very quickly, moving on to task management. But before that, you can see all of these correlations that have been brought in here. If I go to task management, 
It gives you a very good uh, canvas to quickly assign tasks to multiple D members and go about it. For example, you know, there are there are tasks to block messages in the queue, verify the jump server, you know, uh, verify if the you know isolation has happened across the MQ, uh, the admin, uh, you know, the MQ admins uh, terminal. Uh, legal team members can be involved. What are my completed tasks? I can quickly create a task here, right? Uh, very easily and and go about it. And moving on to the investigation part of this part of the story, where you can do uh, the team members can come together and analyze the whole scenario very visually, as you can see, and also get an understanding of what are the different alerts involved, what are the different uh, um, you know indicators involved, what are the assets involved, all in this all in this solution, which is tailor made to do such type of dynamic investigations. Moving on to communication, right? Uh, you can quickly generate reports, announcements. You can, you can, you know, say, say, uh, I want to generate report. I want to send an email update right away. So all of that big into one, one comprehensive package, very well researched and made uh, for critical investigations like this. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.